each fin gives you the opportunity to um, use four different gluing edges. So as you, these are all the same fin. Comes from the green template. So you can glue it on this way, this way, and obviously that would be glued down here. Uh, here's another way here, and here's another way here. So you're going to choose which way you want to put the fin on your rocket. Uh, since I have four fins, I'm going to use the four fin alignment template. Uh, what you'll do here is you'll take an exacto knife and you'll cut right up to the line. Don't cut the line off. Use a ruler and a good sharp exacto knife to do your cutting. Leave the lines, don't cut the lines off. Like so. When done, your uh, alignment template should look something like this. Place a piece of tape about an inch long on that uh, tab here. Take your rocket and you want to put the alignment template uh, down pretty close to the end like that. Uh, make sure that the uh, lines with the tab and the lines below here line up. And one way of checking that is that you can see that it's flat across over here and flat across over here. Make it nice and tight and take that down like that. The next step will be making these little V's like this. When you're done making the little V's you can put the uh, alignment template back in the bottom drawer where the other fins are or you can put it into the recycling. Next you're going to take a ruler and you're going to draw a line right through the middle of those V's so it'll look something like that and do all three or four of those. The next step now is gluing your fins onto your rocket. Uh, line up your fins so that you have the same edge all the way around. Okay, and remember this is the edge that you didn't cut or file. Um, I'm going to glue my fins on with this edge here so it's going to go on like that. A uh, couple of things to look for. Uh, try to keep the bottom edge of your fin, in my case that's this here, right at the bottom of your rocket. So something like that. Uh, when you glue your fins on, you'll use tacky glue. And notice that I have a little paper towel so I can close the cap and wipe it so that it can be used later. Put glue, tacky glue, thin coating on the edge of your fin and then what I like to do when I glue the fins on is I like to go to the right of my line and I should just barely see my line Okay, and then the thing that I do once I get it generally in place is I take and I press the fin onto the rocket body tube and I move it back and forth. What that does is it generates uh, a little bit of heat from the friction. And again, I should just see my line. And notice how my fin is uh, perpendicular to the surface. Well, it's hard to see here, but it's straight up and down. Um, I want you to make sure that when you're gluing your fins on, you glue the same edge to the body. So I wouldn't do one like this now. Make sure that they're straight up and down and that they are perpendicular to the body. Okay, so there's between the fin and the body, there's a 90 degree angle. And that they're all the same height. So you've got all your fins lined up on the bottom edge here. And that you don't have one fin, for example, up like that.
your film should be equally spaced so that when you look at it from the top it's going to look something like that and also notice that the fins are at a 90 degree angle so again you should look something like that when you're done after your fins have been on for five to ten minutes or overnight take your tacky glue again and put a bead of glue along one edge of the fin. Take that bead of glue and spread it out and go to the other side with it. And spread it on that side. Okay, and what you're doing here is you're filling any and all gaps in the fin. Okay, and this will hopefully help your fins to stay on through a very violent launch. Uh, what I like to do uh, as I'm gluing my fins on and as I'm doing this, um, I like to put my rocket in the holder like this to hold it so that my fins aren't getting bent. When you're done gluing, Close the glue bottle, white cap to red, and wipe the tip. Your completed rocket, with the extra glue on it, should look something like that. Okay, so you don't want to have any gaps anywhere around here. And just make sure that your alignment um, is good before you set it to the side to dry. Um, what you'll do is you'll let this dry overnight. You'll take the nose cone out of your rocket and you'll hang it on the rocket tree this way. If you hang it on the rocket tree on this end, the fins may bend as they're drying, okay, and then they'll be locked in place. So always hang your rocket like this right after you finish doing that final gluing job.